Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success demonstration of item management. In this demonstration, we will walk through the item management process in NetSuite. As the inventory manager, this is my dashboard. It is purpose-built and contains reminders, shortcuts and key metrics necessary for me to perform my job efficiently. One metric that I commonly monitor is sales by item. I have this metric highlighted here on my dashboard and by clicking on view report, I can drill further into this for more detail if necessary. I am now viewing my complete sales by item report. I can change the dates here and break this down further by class, department or location by changing the column heading here on the bottom of the screen. It is also possible to see this by week, month, quarter or year. I'll take a look at this by location. Now, with the click of a button, you are seeing sales by item by location. All the reports in NetSuite are drillable, which means I can navigate down to the source transaction level or I can even drill straight to the item record. First, Let's look at the transactions that are behind the sales of our iPad Pro. You will see all the details of the transactions behind the numbers. I'll drill into the first to get a look at the invoice. It has links to customer, items sold and the cash payments related to this transaction. From here, let's go to the item record itself to see how this is set up. NetSuite provides the ability to segregate information like department, class and location. On the Purchasing Inventory tab, you can set details like reorder points, automation around dropship items or items that need to automatically trigger linked purchase orders. Here you can see preferred suppliers, item costs and locations we keep inventory in. Here I can find my inventory quantities on hand by location and can also see the average cost per unit. On the sales pricing sub tab, with the proper permissions, I can set up the pricing for this item with multiple pricing levels and quantity price points. Additionally, on the accounting tab, you can see that I can default the relevant accounts for this item to determine the proper general ledger impact. In this example, you can see which income, asset and cost of goods sold account are assigned to this particular item. Next, I will move to the Item 360 tab. I can drill in to open purchase orders, view a complete sales history and even review my sales margin for this item. Having this information at our fingertips enables our executive team to have real-time visibility into inventory levels sales history, purchase history, and pricing strategy. And it provides me with the visibility to effectively manage my warehouses and inventory levels with ease, all while maintaining effective internal controls over the order management and procurement processes. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.